G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and something a little different. Now when, when this company contacted me and said, hey, would you like to review our new 150 watt charger? I thought, yeah, why not? I haven't reviewed a charger for a while and 150 watts, that's a decent amount of power. You can, you can really stuff the energy into those mini quad batteries or just about any battery, 150 watts, that's heaps. So I was kind of surprised when this turned up. Look, look how small that is. Look, there's my hand. There's the charger. My hand, the charger. What? 150 watts? Seriously, are you kidding me? Now, I'm not going to unbox it, but I will take it out of the box. Here we go. Tool, kit, RC, and it's more than a charger. Interesting piece of kit, actually. Let's just dispense with the box. There it is, tiny. It's got a fan. Um, it's got XD60 on that side, XD60 on that side. Uh, there's also a 2.1 amp USB, so you can charge your phone, you can charge all your various little um, HD recording cameras and so forth. And on this side, of course, there's your balance connector and your XD60 where you plug your battery to charge it. Um, and it even has little dinky little legs on the bottom here you can pull out. So it'll sit nicely like that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's got a screen. No, you can't watch Netflix on it. But what you can do is recharge your batteries. And I mean, this is tiny. Actually, let's get the scales that don't show the blood because I think one of the key things is how light is this thing. Now, traditionally, 150 watt chargers have been heavy beasts. Let's see if it works. Come on, go gadget. Here we go. We're in the grams mode. How much does this weigh? 82 grams. 82 grams for a charger that does 150 watts. How do they do that? I don't know. Um, obviously, there's um, some stuff in there and it gets hot because there's a fan, which is to be expected. But let's, uh, let's just see how you'd use this because it's all very well having a charger. Where's the power going to come from? 150 watt charger needs 150 watts and there's no mains connection. This is solely works on the input here, which is 7 to 28 volts. So that's 2, 2S to 6S battery you plug in this side and then you plug your battery to be charged. And that's it. Let's find a battery. What have I got in my big pile of batteries? Well, here's a what amounts to a 4500 six cell because it's two three cells wide in series. I use this for my EDF. Let's plug and it's got an XT90 so I'm going to have to put an adapter on here. Let's put the XT90 to XT60 adapter on. And so if I plug this in the side, it should all fire up. You're going to watch, you're going to learn at the same time as me. Let's go. Beep, beep, there you go, it's working, look. Woohoo! Um, let me see if I can pull in a bit closer here so that we can see the screen without it all going all blurry. That's probably about as close as we'll get. What have we got here? We've got, that's fairly simple, color LCD. Easy, it seems easy enough to navigate. Now it's not a touch screen, but you can touch it, see? But nothing happens. It's got these little buttons on the side here. So we can move down. And this is capacitive touch. So there's no actual buttons behind it. It just senses that your finger's there, which is great, except that it does also sometimes trigger a little bit falsely, I noticed. But here we go. So what, what's in this damn thing? I mean, obviously it's more than just a charger, but let's look at the charge functionality. There's the charger. Let's go to charger. And you can set up a profile for batteries. Um, obviously you've got all your various parameters and there are a number of profiles. You can see you can make a new profile, new. Uh, and then there's like that. Is there only room for two profiles? I don't know. But you can change this anyway on the fly, so it's not really that important. You've got down here at the bottom, you've got, let's see, I'll select that one. You've got charge, discharge, storage, and that's it. Charge, discharge, and storage. So, yeah, so that's all you need. It's all you really need. So far, I'm impressed. This is the go back button. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Now it's got measure, measure, measurer. Um, it's a ruler, but they call it a measurer. And then here you can do stuff. You can check. PWM outputs, you can check PPM outputs and SBUS outputs. Why would you use this? Well, I guess you can test a receiver and see what the channel outputs are without any other extra gear. Um, you can obviously plug in your receiver somewhere. Where would it be? Hmm, must be a connection somewhere. Oh, there it is. Look, see, just down here, plug a three pin connector to your receiver and whether it's a PPM, PWM or SBUS, you'll be able to check and see what's coming out. So if you've got a receiver, you don't know if a channel's working, plug it in, away you go. Brilliant. Yes, it's, it's like, it's fluff. I mean, I probably wouldn't use that very much, but it's there. I mean, if you want to use it, it's there. It's an extra feature for no extra cost. Um, we go down to output and what's output? I don't know, let's find out. Select that one. It says, oh, that's obviously starts the charge, I suppose. It says, press OK to start, power supply, no, let's, let's try it. Woo, there you go. Um, we've got nothing going out because there's nothing connected. That's Pretty standard, isn't it? But um, let's go back. 
I mean, it's, um, navigation is very easy, very simple. Let's go to settings, see what's inside there. You're learning along with me. Okay, lowest output, power output. See, 150 watts, maximum input power. Safe temperature, so it's, oh, yeah, I, I like it. It's straightforward, it's simple, it's not ostentatious. It seems to do what it says on the box. Um, let's charge your battery. That's obviously got to be the next test. Here I have a very old 3S 1300, yep, yeah, 1.3 3S. Let's plug this in. Ta-da, see what happens. There we go. E -e -e -e. And we have the balance connector, which must go which way? Negative, negative to the bottom. So it goes this way. Let's plug that in. Excuse me, this is probably all blurry and out of thing. Oops, got it in the wrong place. Let's go. Now obviously, this kind of balance port's not quite as convenient as some of the other types of balance port connectors you get. There we go. Let's go to charger. All right, we're on charger. Let's select that. It says LiPo at, I don't know. 4.2. How do I change these parameters? Um, it's probably got a whole lot of auto going on there. Let's see what happens there. Let's go charge. Charge to 12 points. It knows it's a three cell pack. Okay. Here we go. There's your voltage. There's your current going up two amps. And there it's charging at two amps, which is perfectly fine for this particular battery. These are good for charging up to 5C. So I could charge. How do I increase the current? I don't know. Maybe I have to change some settings. What does this do at the moment? That just changes screens, I think. There we go. I don't know. I should. Oh, it's even got the cell voltages down here, so you can see how well it's balanced. It's. it's oh, see what I mean about that? I bumped the battery, bumped it by mistake. Um, it, what could. What? Hey, I mean, this looks really schmick. I kind of like this. And the size, the small size, the lightweight, and the fact that it'll do 150 watts if you've got enough power to drive it. So, what are the use cases for this? Okay. If you're going out in the field and you've got a quad or a plane or something or other, if you're like me, you don't have a lot of batteries. I mean, a lot of people, I see people like Mr. Steele and, and uh, Tommy and all the others. I mean, they've got backpacks full of batteries. Me, I've only got a few batteries, so I need to recharge them on the fly. I, but I've got batteries, big batteries like this. I've got some 6S and I've got some big 4S batteries, so I can carry some watt hours with me. I, I can fill my pack up with these, so I can take the batteries for my EDF and I can take them along with me and recharge my mini quad batteries when I'm out there flying in the park. Now that's kind of cool. I'm just transferring the watt energy from there into there. That is kind of nice. Um, if, you, if you've got a, like a, any other portable charge, you could always whack this across your car battery and charge from that or any other voltage source up to a 6S LiPo. So there, there are a lot of, you can power it from basically anything that'll do 7 volts to 28 volts or whatever it was. And that's, that's kind of cool. Um, I want to do a project later on with solar cells because I like the fact or I like the idea of being able to take a foldable solar array with you when you go to fly in the park or anywhere else away from the mains power, unfold it and plug in your charger to that and away you go with a little battery to obviously um, take up the shortfall and I'm going to do a project on that. This is the perfect charger for that because it's so small and light so it won't add to the, the backpack fatigue if you take a system like that out into the field. So I am impressed with this so far and this is charging at 2 amps at 11 volts so that's like 20 watts going in, 22 watts going into there and the fan hasn't even started yet, it's not hot and so it's, it's obviously pretty damn efficient. It's not getting hot, which is, uh, means it's going to cope well with even heavier charge currents. So yeah, well, I'm going to play with this a bit more. This is really a preview, a preview because this is a pre-production unit. This, is, this one is actually supposed to have gone back to the factory uh, for some updates and things. So it's, it's, they're going to be better, better than what you see here. One thing I noticed was the case was a little flimsy. They've fixed that. Apparently it's a tougher case, so it's going to be more robust. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to play with this a bit more. I'm going to use it. Best way to review stuff is to use it because um, one thing I'm very cautious of is when you're doing stuff on the bench, you're taking a 15 minute look at something um, and you don't always find the flaws, but so far it's flawless. I haven't found a problem with it, so it's kind of cool. Um, I'll put a link to the product. As I said right at the get-go, this was sent in for review. So I always disclose when I get stuff for free, even though it would not cloud my judgment in terms of giving a recommendation or otherwise. So at this stage I would say it seems to work just like it says on the box. And yes, it comes with a box. So, oh, and in the box, just so you know, you get yourself a lovely USB lead like we don't already have millions of those for charging your smartphone or whatever. Comes with some instructions. The instructions are a little scant. At the M6 it is, user manual. That's your instruction. Hold on. Let me get it around in front of the camera and you can pause and 
zoom in if you want to see what the instructions say. We can go to the website. I'll put a link to the website where you can get more information on this product in the description of this video, as I always try to do. And there's even a QR code on there if you want to go and get more information. So there you go. Uh, yeah, that's it. Dropped it on the floor, broken. The instructions now smashed beyond repair. Never mind. Um, so there you go. I I'm happy with this. I'm going to make a lot of use of this in the summer because, as I mentioned some time ago on my XJet channel, I'm going gorilla. I'm going to go renegade. Um, I'm going to be out and about while I still can and flying as much as I can everywhere I can, completely safely, not always legally, but completely safely. And this will be a useful thing. I've got three 6S packs. So that's that recharges a lot of. 4S mini quad batteries. Brilliant. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Comments to the usual place, please. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. A big thanks to my Patreon supporters who mean who make it possible to make these videos without those irritating mid-roll ads that just about every other channel on YouTube uses. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again.